Interfit have recently turned quite a few heads with their new S1 studio heads that I got a chance to have a play with over the summer. They followed that up with a very distinctive little head with an even more distinctive name. We have the Interfit Honey Badger. We're going to bring it out on a little studio shoot to see how it fares. We have to make the assumption that this naming is to grab attention and stand out from the crowd, but actually when you get down to the details of the head, it really looks rather good on its own merit. Take a quick look at the rough specs, and we've got a 320 watt mains powered head that also packs an extremely powerful 60 watt LED modeling lamp. The LED and the flash tube are covered by a glass dome for protection, and the glass dome, along with the flash tube itself, are shared from the bigger brother, the S1s we mentioned before. Sticking with the front end, as far as I can tell, they've designed the head for as wide a range of users as possible. We've got a traditional S-type bayonet mount for lighting modifiers, but we've also got a round mount found on a lot of speedlight modifiers for pop-up type softboxes. So users updating from using speedlights can continue to use those softboxes if they've already invested. Although having said that, the Honey Badger does already come bundled with a nice sturdy two-foot square softbox in the box. Moving around to the back, we've got full digital control across a seven-stop range, which will take us right down to five watts. And that can be adjusted not only from the head, but also from the optional radio remote, which offers this control in tenths of a stop. It's actually the non-TTL radio remote version of the Interfit S1 radio remote. So again, the parts sharing and cross compatibility continues. It's important to note that unlike the S1, this is a traditional studio head, so it doesn't offer the high-speed sync or TTL of its bigger brother, but otherwise feels very solid and similar in usage. One nice advantage it does have over the S1 is a much more powerful LED, and um, importantly one which can be adjusted accurately in tenths of a stop. This opens up the option of using it for video, although it should be noted the head does have a fan which runs all the time, and whilst it's not necessarily described as loud, it's going to be picked up if it's too close to your microphones, so you'll need to keep it at a distance. Radio remote control has pretty much become obligatory in all but the bottom budget end of the lighting market, and it cannot be stressed how useful this is when working to tight timescales, particularly if you're working as a one-person crew. The implementation of reliability is good. I've been using it all day with no misfires. Recycling is quick, and from early looks, it appears that the color seems reasonably consistent throughout the power range. If you're in the market for a compact, versatile studio head, this little square unit really ticks a lot of boxes. Despite the very keen pricing for these heads, it seems Interfit are squarely aiming these recent releases at capturing serious professional users, particularly suited to traveling out on location, so they're well worth a look. For further specs and details on the Honey Badger, including the range of kits that we've got on offer, head over to wex.co.uk.